If it starts coming this way, we're getting in the truck. All right, so as you can see, it's it's raining. It's probably loud as heck. You probably can't hear me, but we're supposed to go fishing. It's 5.30 right now. We're going to a new pond that I've never been to. We're hoping that the rain is north of where we're going. We're driving 45 minutes south. We're going to, to a new pond, and uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to Subway, though. How muddy is my truck? Oh my god! <laughs> I literally just got a new wax like two days ago. All right, so that's what my uh, truck looks like. That's always nice when it's muddy. All right, no subway because there's like three tornadoes in Omaha where I live. My girlfriend was texting me, sending me pictures, and it looked awful. So far, the storms aren't coming, but as you can see there, it looks, I mean, it looks great. And uh, it was already muddy on the way in. And so I don't really feel like getting stuck today. And uh, so we're, we're just going to fish like as quickly as possible and try to catch as many fish as possible before the rain comes. And lightning, so let's go fishing. Oh yeah, by the way, if the audio sucks in this, sorry, my mic broke, so it's just standard audio. Okay, let's go fishing. All right, we're gonna start off frog fishing. Oops. It literally just tried to eat it off the bush. All right, Rain, give us like 30 minutes, please. Wait, I'll just take them all down there with me. Switch into the chatterbait. There's one. Good one. That little guy. Oh, he came off. I don't know why that got popped off. There's another one. Okay, apparently my hook's cut off. What? What if my, my rod might not be stiff enough, I guess. I'll try, if I miss one more, I'm gonna change something. Oh for 2. Don't come off this time, dude. First fish, not as small as I thought he was actually. Eh, it's not a bad fish, no giant. All right, so I'm gonna try to give you some tips on chatterbait fishing. Since I caught one fish, that means I'm an expert. And uh, what you wanna do is you wanna cast it out, and it seems pretty shallow, so I'm gonna keep my rod tip up high. And the, uh, the fish are pretty active around here, so keep your rod tip up high. Give it short pauses every once in a while. You just, just wanna cast out, let it sink for a few seconds. You just want to have like a nice steady retrieve. And I normally just use my rod tip to flutter this thing, just kind of working it almost like a jig. Just gets a little bit better reaction bite out of them. There's one. Oh, he ate it right at the edge of those weeds. Yeah, I don't know if you got, I don't know if the camera caught that, but. That dude was like right, right on the edge of those weeds. Just a squeak. Okay, well so far the chatterbait has only proven to catch dinks. So I'm gonna go grab that Gambler Big Easy swim bait and see if that works. You guys can see there, some storms are brewing. The water is getting pretty ripply. The wind's definitely blowing. And uh, my girlfriend has texted me and said there's a tornado coming. So, you know, that's always a good thing. I'm gonna fish until it starts to rain and then I'm gonna have to dip out. The reason why is not because I don't really like fishing in the rain, I actually like it. The road in here is a straight down and it's straight mud. And I literally skidded on the way down, so we may get stuck on the way out, but uh, you gotta risk it, gotta risk it for these YouTube videos. All right, let's see if we can catch one. We'll see if this swim bait does any good. If I catch one, it should be a big one. Moving again, they didn't like the swim bait. There's a little spot back here, it's kinda like the creek. It's got a lot of weeds, so I'm gonna try frogging it. All right, that's what I'm gonna be fishing, all those weeds, pockets, all that good stuff. Let's see how it goes. Whoa, it's not at all where I wanted to cast. Oh, I just had one. Come on. He missed it. He missed it. 
There should be one right here. Come on, get it. Oh my gosh. Dude, I called that shot too. I was like, oh, there's gonna be one right here. Dude, that was literally a foot and a half behind my frog. Like, not even anywhere close. All right, you got some dumb fish in this pond. That's all I gotta say. There's one. It's not a very big one, though. Water skiing in them. Look at these little babies. Oh, of course, my camera shut off behind me. Okay, well, got a little guy here. So for those of you watching at home, I will show you my tactic. So when you're fishing a place like this that has a ton of weeds, it's tough to just like work your frog real slow over the entire thing. It takes a long time. So what you do is you make a long cast and you slowly reel, like you would a buzz bait or a spinner bait or something like a ribbit. And you slowly, slowly reel. What happens is these fish have such a late reaction to it, they'll jump behind it and you won't hook them or nothing. And what you do is you fire back in there and uh, they, they almost always hit it a second time. So it's an easy way to find where the fish are on these mats. And so far I've done that twice. I missed that first one and caught that second one. So we'll see if we can do it again. Got him. <sighs> Did you see that one come out of the water? It jumped out of the water like two feet after it. Got another bait. Oh, he's a little bit better, but still got another baby. Cut this little dude. Got a buck and a half. There's one. That might be a little better. Yeah, that's a better fish for sure. That's about a two. That's like a two and a half. A little two and a half pounder. Yeah, maybe only about two. I mean, if we get stuck, like, if we leave now and get stuck, we get stuck. Like, there's nothing we can do. We might as well fish. So, it's starting to rain. The wind's picking up. Kind of looks like a tornado's coming. Yeah, it looks pretty bad behind me. So, we're gonna, we're gonna head to the truck and uh, we might get out of here. We might try to fish a little bit longer. Yeah, you ready to call it? Yeah. All right. I don't feel like dying today, so let's, uh, let's go. All right, guys. Gotta end it early. It's only 7.33, so this kind of sucks. We drove like an hour, but you know, that's what happens. I caught fish, and I, I hopefully I taught you something about frog fishing and a little bit about chatterbait fishing. But uh, I think we're gonna get out of here, try not to get stuck, ton of mud, probably gonna get stuck, and then go get Subway. All right, let's go. All right, in the truck, we're gonna try to get out of here. I don't know, what do you think? You think we're getting stuck? Uh, nah, it, we might. Okay, I'm gonna have you film it, so we'll see if it gets stuck. All right, so far so good. Haven't quite made it to, uh, of course it starts to rain. That always helps the situation, right? Uh-oh. How's it feel? Oh, God. Bad. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Tundra, don't let me down. I got faith in you. Well, oh, we're doing a lot better than I thought. Oh, Ooh. I spoke too soon. We're sliding now. Come on, baby. Yeah, you can try to get out there if you want. No way. We made it, dude. <laughs> oh. I don't even want to know what my truck looks like right now. Okay, we made it. Uh, no idea how. I don't even want to look. Here, I'll show you this. Let's see. You guys see how muddy that is? That's the road we came in on. It's starting to rain now. We got to go. We going to Subway? Subway. Dude, that cow's definitely out of its field. There's some biblical Noah's Ark shit going on. <laughs> Dude, we got animals flying everywhere. So it's it's definitely pouring now. Probably a tornado coming quick here. So, uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God. I got a tan truck, guys. Check out my new wrap. Going to Subway. Alright, where are we going next? Joe Bob's ice cream. 
Made it to Joe Bob's. In case you guys were wondering, it's not Frenchy Friday. It's 618. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Yep. Joe Bob with the hookup. Joe Bob's the plug. Alright, one out of ten. You know it's not the greatest. It was like a seven and a half. What do you what do you think? Well it was cash only, so that was a little like sketch. Like a four out of ten for me. <laughs> little sketch with the cash only, but uh, Joe Bob's, Syracuse, Nebraska. If you work for the IRS, you might want to look into this place. Hey.